Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Ferguson and I'm the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the chainless foundation single crochet stitch. I love this stitch for a alternative to chaining and doing single crochet, especially for starting patterns um, like garment necklines and the bottom of some garments and sweaters um, and anything where I need a little more stretch and give. So here's a little example of the chainless foundation single crochet. As you can see from the top, it looks just like regular single crochets. Um, but at the bottom, you have a much stretchier uh, fabric than you would if you were to chain. Um, so that's why I really like it. I love to use it for, like I said, garment necklines or just starting out projects rather than chaining because it gives you that extra little stretch. Um, for this tutorial, I have some Heatherly Worsted yarn. It's just caked up. I don't have any uh, label for it, but I will link it in the description. And I'm using an H 5 millimeter crochet hook to start. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the cool thing about chainless foundations and little crochet stitches is you can do as many as you need to, um, and then you would just chain one or chain two and turn your work to start working into it. Um, so you don't have to chain anything, um, you don't have to do a certain multiple or anything like that. So to start your first chainless foundation single crochet stitch, you're going to create your slip knot and you're going to chain two. One, two. So I've got the front of my chains right here. I'm going to turn my work and see this bump I have right here, this uh, it's called the back bump. I'm going to work into it. So I'm going to insert my hook into it. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So I have two loops on my hook now. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull through one of those loops. And then I have two loops on my hook again. I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to pull through both of those. So I've completed my first chainless foundation single crochet. So I've got the top right here. It looks just like a regular single crochet and the bottom right here. I'm going to be working into the bottom. So now we have two loops right here instead of just a back bump. That's where I'm going to insert my stitch. I'm working along the bottom. I'm going to insert my stitch for the second chainless foundation single crochet stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through one. And I have two loops on my hook again. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. I have completed two chainless foundation single crochets. Here's my top, here's my bottom. Remember, I'm working into the bottom. So I'm going to turn my stitches over to the bottom. I'm going to take my hook and insert it into those two loops at the very bottom of the stitch that I just did. Not the first one, the stitch that I just did. You're always going to work into the previous stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through one, two loops on my hook again, yarn over, pull through two. The big thing with a chainless foundation single crochet stitch is you want to watch your tension. You want to keep it even because you get so much more stretch with this stitch. You don't want to have some little ones, some big ones, different sized ones, because then you're going to have way too much stretch. Um, all right, so let's, so we've done three. Let's do the next one. We're going to turn it to the back. We're going to insert our hook into those two bottom loops of the previous stitch that we just did. You're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, two loops on my hook again. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to repeat that until we get to the length we want. So I'm going to do some more. I'm going to insert my hook into the two loops on the bottom of my stitch that I just did. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over and pull through two. Do it again. Insert my hook into the two loops. Let's try that one again. And then yarn over and pull up a loop. And then yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. And as you can see, I'm beginning to get a nice 
line of stitches, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two. Let's get a good 20 or so going. So I'm going to do full speed here just so we can get to the end. If you need to pause this or slow this video down, you can do so as you work through yours. And it can be a little slow going, but as you practice and as you do it more and more, you'll get better and faster at it. The big thing is to watch your tension and have even tension. <clears throat> All right, we have 16, so that'll do for now. Um, so I've done a row of foundation chainless single crochet stitches. So like I said, you can do as many as you need to do. Most of the time your pattern will tell you how many to do um, and whatnot. So if you were going to work into these stitches, so we're, we're working along the bottom to create our single our stitches, right? Each new stitch. So now we want it to, we want to be working on the top again. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. Now I'm back up at the top of my stitches here, right? So now I'm just going to work into my stitches like I would a single crochet. So I'm inserting my hook at the top of the two and the two loops at the top, both loops, and just content working a whatever my stitch is. For me, I'm going to do some single crochet. Um, so you're going to, you're going to turn it around and work into those, the top of those stitches at once you uh, complete however you, many you need to do. Um, but you'll be working in the bottom to create the chainless stitches. So then you would just do whatever the pattern says to do or to, you know, whatever stitches you're planning on doing. Um, let me get to the end of this row and I'll show you how stretchy it is, which is what makes it so nice. If you decide your work, if you're working a pattern and you decide you'd rather do chainless foundation single crochet, and, but it calls for chaining and then turning or working into the second chain from your hook and single crocheting, you're going to want to do the number of total stitch counts that it has. So if it says chain 81, single crochet in the second chain from my hook from the hook and across for a total of 80 stitches, you're going to want to do 80 uh, chainless foundation single crochet stitches. And then you would chain one and work your stitches. Um, so here you go. That's a row of chainless foundation single crochet and a row of regular single crochet. Um, as you can see, it is very stretchy. Very nice for, um, it's great. I love to use it for necklines, especially because you, you can get a little stretch when it's going over the head. Um, but you can use it pretty much anywhere. It's a great uh, start to any project, um, just about. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.